Welcome back to another horror special, ladies and gentlemen, everyone here on YouTube. Today, I have Carrie. Now, Carrie is, is stars Sissy Spacek. I hope I pronounced her last name. Um, it is as Carrie White, and it is a, an adaptation of Stephen King's original novel. It is about Carrie White, who is a shy 16-year-old uh, girl who is constantly mocked and bullied at school. Uh, she also has, you know, she also has abuse from her pious mother, uh, played by Piper Laurie, at home. Uh, when strange occurrences start happening around Carrie, she begins to suspect that she has supernatural powers. Invited to the prom by the empathetic Tommy Was, excuse me, uh, played by William Cat, Carrie tries to let her guard down, but things eventually take a dark and violent turn. All right, so this movie, it, it I really loved this movie. This is I love this movie. Like the moment the movie start the movie the moment the movie opens, I already feel the torment and I already feel so bad for this girl. Just leave her alone, man. Come on, people. Just leave this poor girl alone. Just let her live her life. Stop bullying her. I'm like that's what I was like going on through my head. Like please, just stop. I was just. I was so I didn't look up the cast list. I just went into this movie blind. I didn't know what to expect. When John Travolta showed up, I was like, "What the hell is he doing here, John? What what are you doing here?" Like John Travolta, he must you know John Travolta must be you know I wasn't born back then, but he must be a very popular uh, actor back in like the seventies and the eighties. You know I know him from you know the musicals like uh, Hairspray. Oh no, he not not he wasn't I know John Travolta, I don't know if it was the original one or the remake. No, I think it was the remake or the the reboot. It, it was the remake of Hairspray, I think. John Travolta played like the mom and also he played, you know, he was in Greece too, but he he was very popular back in the day. He must be. But anyway, um you know, this was based on Stephen King's first pub published novel, um, and it was, you know, it was a critical and commercial success. You know, it grossed $33.8 million against a $1.8 million budget. It received two nominations for Best Actress and Best Supporting Actress, and a lot of critics and audience members alike widely cited as the best adaptation of the novel amongst the numerous films and television shows based on the character, as well as one of the first, as one of the best films based on a, you know, on Stephen King's, his publications. And, you know, it's regarded as one of the greatest horror films ever made, and you know the 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 prom scene the prom scene the film's prom scene has had a major influence in pop culture like we've seen it so many times so many movie other movies and shows whether they're you know official or like a parody or a spoof they have done their own interpretation of Carrie and but yeah this is something very special here today so why not let's just go into why this movie is so awesome and like many other Stephen King film adaptation it really captures the spark and tone that Stephen King's original novel had um, the film stays loyal to the source material with you know only a few adjustments which is you know you know very usual uh, it's not very uncommon uh, but but anyway you know there's also some flawless acting performances especially from Sissy uh, and Piper themselves there's also well done character and story development like how sue snell goes from she went from bullying carrie to actually being concerned about her state of mind sue even becomes an iconic final girl as she's the only female character who survives carrie's rampage which is funny and a little bit weird at the same time like oh yeah like she's the only female character to survive oh my god She's the final girl. Uh, if you really think about it, yeah, it's like it really starts to click in. 
But I do like the character of Sue Snell. Like, she's actually one of the many people who, you know, one of the many girls who were bullying Carrie. And then she was like, throughout the story, she's like, she even, you know, tells her boyfriend, uh, you know, Tommy, you know, you should take her to, you should take Carrie White to prom. And, you know, she start, she's talking to the teachers, the, the coach, you know, uh, the principal, like all the staff members about, you know, taking about their uh, involvement and everything about that. So, yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's I do like her character. That's my point. So there are some memorable moments, such as the detention scene, the scene where uh, the next one is the scene where Carrie gets drenched in pig's blood, which is iconic. Like, as I said, it's been done so many times in pop culture. It's iconic. Uh, and the senior prom massacre that followed it. Carrie White is a very likable and sympathetic protagonist. And her mother, Margaret White, played by Piper, is a sadistic, well-performed antagonist. Like, oh my god. Like, I mean, what I'm about to say could be, you know, could be definitely wrong. But, you know, feel free to correct me. But, you know, I love... But anyway, getting into it. I loved the relationship between Carrie and her mom. You know, she has so many antagonists, you know, so many enemies at school and they're all bullies and she only has one antagonist um at home which is her mother and she's like oh you gotta pray pray for forgiveness we'll pray together and she, it's like you know i don't want to do that ma mama <laughs> and by the way like she not only does she did a great job playing you know uh the mother but like she but the character margaret white is one sadistic psycho fucking bitch <laughs> um but uh yeah and you know i i do like the background music i do like the music composed in this film um it does it definitely uh gave me vibes of the classic horror film psycho um it's, you know that plays whenever Carrie uses her telekinetic powers. Um, there's also, you know, great and unforgettable dialogue from the actors. And uh, I just love the direction. I, I don't know who directed this film. Let me look him up. Let me look up the actor directed by Brian D. Palma. Brian D. Palma. Brian De Palma. Something. Anyway, I thought I loved his direction. His impressive direction and his skills as a director in this with this film, he did a great job. Um, and the film manages to take on real life issues like the first time periods, bullying, abusive relationships, and religion very well. I thought like all those, everything that I just said right there, are things that you know, a lot of people. That a lot of girls and but more importantly, you know, a lot of people have, you know, been facing in the real world. Like, you know, I, I I'm obviously I'm obviously not a girl. So but I know I, I, I can't even I, you know, I have some imagination of what a period could feel like. I, 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 I but but, you know, because I'm not a girl myself, I, I don't you know, I haven't been there. So, yeah, but anyway. I can only imagine how, you know, it, it could be like, it's unpredictable. It could be, you know, if you are a woman, if you are a girl, um, you know, just, uh, I, you know, I can imagine, you know, it could be, you know, having your period, it's, it's unpredictable and random. But anyway, yeah, a lot of people have been facing, you know, bullying, you know, this, it's still happening. Whether it's physical bullying or like online, you know, you know, online, whether it's on YouTube or social media, it's everywhere. Bullying is everywhere. You've seen it. It's on the news and it's never going to stop because we're humans and, you know, we, we don't learn from our mistakes. Then I know there are a lot of I, I know there are families out there who are where like the parents are physically or emotionally or verbally abusing their own children which is disgusting 
um, and just shameful. And, you know, religion is a very part, is a very big part in, you know, different cultures and traditions. So, yeah, and it just, it all depends on where you come from, really. Yeah. And I just love the facial ex expression that Carrie White made during the prom massacre. It's just nightmare fuel on a rampage. Like, she has this... Like her face, like she doesn't scream. She's not yelling. She has this, her eyes are like, her eyes are white, widened and, you know, blood is all over her body. You know, the pig's blood is all over her body and she's like looking around the, the whole prom building and using her powers to trap everyone inside. It was a nightmare. And like, I think it was, yeah, I, I, it was all sh like red, the color red plays a huge part in uh, this film. Whether it's the lighting in the uh, the prom scene or, you know, the pig's blood, you know, it, the color red appears a lot. But uh, yeah, the, la the very last scene of the movie terrified an entire generation of moviegoers as it helped establish the final scene, Jump Scare, as a horror movie tradition. Uh, you know, as a, as a more of a horror movie tradition and it does and there are some pretty good representation of high school social hierarchy um and it also started the end it started the 10 uh the trend excuse me of the adaptations from stephen king's works that were if not even better or worse than this film so that's pretty much all i had to take from this film um but yeah, I had a friend who said that John Travolta's performance as Billy uh, isn't as faithful to the, uh, the, the novel. And my friend, he's like, a, you know, he reads a lot of books, uh, especially, and, and Stephen King's, uh, the books, you know, Stephen King, he does read Stephen King's books too. So he told me like, oh, it's really not, you know, it's not, it's not exact, you know. Um, and also the official trailer gave away a lot of the film. Um, yeah, it just showed so, it showed so much, basically, you know, the, the whole story of it. And while the performances were magnificent, Carrie and Margaret... White look nothing like their novel counterparts. That is what um, my friend said. And also, um, I heard that uh, I found out that Sue Snell's, um, the character Sue, had some very important scenes that were cut out in the film, which makes her character rather bland and less complex than in the book. So, yeah. Yeah, even though I liked how she turned from bullying to, you know, went from bullying to Carrie to, like, it, it just felt, you know. Yeah, but uh, anyway, that's all I have to say for Carrie. Uh, let me know what you thought about this film in the comment section below. Everyone, thank you so much for taking the time to listening to my review. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see all of you lovely people really soon.